Hello, and welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. In the previous episode... Just kidding, that doesn't matter. Because we're going to do side quests and pretty much get used to uh, some of the foundation things that were unlocked in the game before we head there for episode 9. So this is episode 8.5. If it seems boring, then I'm sorry. You can skip right to 9. Well, tomorrow. But anyways, let's get started. I hate when the garbage piles up. It attracts all the crows. Uh, don't hate the crows. They're just trying to get by, you know? In fact, crows are pretty smart. They've even been known to stop rummaging through trash if they see they're being watched. Huh, interesting. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you have a soft spot for them. Well, what can I say? We're birds of a feather when it comes to digging through the trash. <laughs> Guess everyone has a flock. Hmm? Yeah? I think I'll lame. Hmm? <clears throat> so, I'm gonna pretty much treat this like a normal episode. Minus the fact that we're not gonna do any main story. Uh. Uh oh. This is a SOS quest. What's going on here? I told you, I haven't stolen anything. Stop accusing me of what I didn't do. Where's this part time hero? That must be my client. Time to play part time hero. I've been framed as a thief, and now I'm now I'm being asked to hand over my belongings. Please believe me when I say I haven't stolen a thing. This ha this is happening near the parking structure. This could get rough. Excuse me, but I'm from to part time hero, and this here's my client. I'll be inspecting his belongings. That way, no one suspicious gets their hands on it. So what? You trying to say I'm a thief? That's slander, pal, and you're not getting away with it. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're a break dancer now. <laughs> mm, eh, let's. Maximum player seems great. As just the average move since it hits twice. Oh, not bad. They're definitely a little weaker than they were, but by the end of this episode, I'm hoping we're gonna get get somewhere with this. Get some uh, good builds and stuff. Adachi's still strong. Wow. Yeah, let's see how much you do. It's a triple head. She's got medium power, multiple heads. Yeah, and that knocks him down. Stab him. He got a. You're weak. Ichiban. It's not a good start. Will you, uh, will you be able to... There we go. Okay, I don't like the fact that there's this little thing in the way. Man, that thing is throwing me off. Can you, can you hit him? There we go. Thoughtless viewer. Oh yeah. The after hit. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so <clears throat> this will mostly be a relaxed episode. Thanks. If you hadn't been here in, on time, that jerk would have taken everything I had. Now I know who I, who to call when there's trouble. I usually don't even have to turn Wait these in. This. <clears throat> Performer's guitar. Oh, Johnny be good. Kind this one up. No, 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 no. I, I have side stories to do. My goal is to do all side stories today. But, well, all, all that we have. So this is like check, chapter five side story time. Probably going to have a few of these .5 episodes that are actually probably going to be longer than any of my main episodes. You know, it'll be interesting. The first time I've tried this, so. Bye. Alright. 
Uh, yeah, the, this is the guy, the friend who was trying to defend the soup stand. Kasuga san, you came. Yeah, where's your boy, Terracotto? Apparently, he's learned his lesson. He's been laying low as of late. That's good to hear. <laughs> hey, look. Looks like they're running the soup kitchen today. Now's your chance to talk to her. Uh, sure, but... <sighs> this whole time I've been thinking about what to say, what I should say, but I can't think of anything. I think it'd be easier to talk to her if I knew what she liked. Why not go up and ask her? Uh... But what if she thinks I have an ulterior motive and never speaks to me again? Dude, don't overthink it. Do, uh, do you think you could ask Shirakawa-san what she likes for me? I haven't even been able to touch my soup. I'm so stressed out about, oh, about it. <sighs> Man, you serious right now? Fine. But just to get this thing Arigatou started. Gozaimasu. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, be right back. See if I can find something those two can talk about. Uh, man. Oh, I have to go to the side. K Kuroi asked me to find out what Shirakawa likes. Guess I'll act like I'm getting some food and see hey. what I can learn. Yo, mind if I get some food? Oh, you're the guy from last time. Do you like? The, did you like the onigiri? Oh yeah, it was great. <coughs> Thanks. Really? I'm glad. I love cooking, but I'm pretty clumsy. So I'm never too sure about the taste. It's a relief to know you liked it. Okay, so she likes cooking. Maybe I should ask what else she likes. Sup? Do you like anything other than cooking? Hmm? You want to know what I like? Yeah. To t tell you the truth, I was thinking about getting a gift for a girl your age, and I wasn't too sure what to get her. I thought maybe you had some kind of idea. Oh, I see. A, a gift? Well, I'm not sure if it'll help, but I love flowers. Flowers, huh? Yes. I'm even attending a gardening program at my college because of that. That's cool. Guess a lot of girls love flowers. Thanks for the hint. Oh, no problem. I hope she likes the gift. Wait, don't you want any food? I guess not. Alright, she likes flowers. I should tell Kroi. Oh, you need me to plant some flowers, don't you? Yo, I found out what she Arigatou likes. Gozaimasu. Thank you. So what did yeah. you say? She loves flowers. Loves them so much, she's going to college for gardening. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait. What's that big, the big surprise? Yeah. Well, actually, at one point in time, I worked at a flower shop. No way. That's perfect, then. Shouldn't be shouldn't be hard to talk to her if you lead in with that. <laughs> right. I must say, I'm starting to feel pretty confident. I think I'll go over and say hello. How's this gonna work? Holding my breath. Oh, it looks like it's going good. I had to breathe. <laughs> okay, okay. It looks like he's in business. We're gonna come back and it's not gonna be alright. Yeah, that's one I gotta keep coming to, I think. Okay, we have an SOS over here. And I wanted to stop at the bar and see if I can do a drink link. Although it's daytime, so I don't know how that works. Because, like, half my bonds are, are locked right now. Hmm. I'm probably not going to cut too much, so you might you might see me running back and forth a little bit. Uh, I'll cut if I have to run somewhere really far away. But Yeah, this is just a relaxed episode. Fine, I'll apologize if that's what you want. Ugh, when's that hero going to get here? That must be my client. Time to play the part. <coughs> I bumped into this one person on my way back from the bar, and now he won't leave me alone. I know I started this, but I'm not paying that much. 
Uh, I'm at the bark racks. Bark racks. Part-time hero here. Look, why don't you just let him go with an apology? I don't think you get it. This this man here violated my personal space. That shit's sacred. What if he's got a cold? Maybe I ought to take him take him out before he spreads it. Okay. Alright, classic douche. Get alive. Watch I got this. Dot combat. <laughs> Dot combatant. Cool. You wanna fight? Take your best shot. Let's well, with full MP, this move's probably gonna be better. Oh, bleed! Right. I bet bleed's a heavy dot. You're in it now. Try this on the side. This is my damage over time. I don't... What is that? Oh, is that silence? Oh, he's free to use skills again. What? You can't even hit them, or they recover. I didn't. I didn't see if that did some damage. Twist your defense. Ooh, hit him all he's down. Here we go. Yeah, we're definitely a little bit, little bit weaker. You're in it now. This out. That was silent. She's charmed. Let's go. Or he's charmed. Uh, then let's focus on you. He's distracted. What do you got against no break dancing, buddy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well. Cool. Right. Check this out. <laughs> you bleed. Right. I uh, hit him. Oh. I'm up. You're weak. Let's go. Right, good. I'm not He's gone. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Fun with this. Ooh, he actually dodged that first hit. This guy's got a lot of health. Follow up. One damage. I'm gonna skip it though. We've just seen it. Let's go. Oh my god, I totally forgot. It's. How did I forget? Let's go. Oh, do I have to be on Kasuga to do it? Let's do it. I made a promise and I haven't kept it yet. Come on. No begging for mercy now. Uh, why don't you heal? Oh. Where's there she is? Little first aid. Thanks. Right. No, I want to use Ichiban. You just guard. Even Nancy and her crawfish friends are here to get in on some of the pounding. Marvel at the beasties who prized who prized pincers held a lot. Renectomize. Rhinectomize and huh? occasionally poison their prey. Call up your crawfish. I hope he's got service. I summon you. Oh, oh. oh shit. <laughs> Plague of pincers. Oh, Nancy, you badass! I'm up. Is he poisoned? Oh, that guy died to bleeding poison. I can't believe I waited till now to use it. But Berserker Spirit unlocked. Collapsing chair. She was last. And magical voice, so they all got a skill. Nice.
Sorry for dragging you into this. It was care it was a careless mistake on my part. Good thing I can count on part-time heroes like you, eh? Yeah. Yeah. With, With finesse. finesse. Oop. I didn't look at what that was. I don't even know if I can check it again. Oh, I got a new one. Oh, at some point I found a little kid. I was like, go home. And he's like, okay. That was that. <laughs> Okay. No, I don't want to fight you anymore. Oh. Wait, wasn't there a silver safe down here? Yeah. Oh, and a tech. Should I open it? Got That's where I found that book. That one, the first book I found. What are these? Boxing shoes. That's a lot of agility. All you lose is magic. Oh, man. Who could use some agility? Adachi, you slow bastard. He's still really slow. <laughs> Wait, I got a thick parka. Huh. Well, it increases healing a lot. Defense a lot. Or a little. Uh, you're apparently going to get some healing moves, and you've got, like, base gear right now. Yeah. Um. Did I get anything else? Cotton gloves. Dexterity up. Seriously, I'm about to just look up what dexterity does. I think it might be, like, accuracy. I don't know. It has like a different meaning in every game. Oh, right, right here, right here. Mm -hmm. Oh. This isn't, this isn't the story I was thinking of. Oh well. Oh, technique booster. Increases your base dexterity value. Wait, is dexterity like tech ne technique damage? Okay, check stats. Dexterity. He is the worst. Let's give him some. Five. That's pretty nice. This park used to have all sorts of playground equipment, but apparently it was all removed to due to safety concerns. Now there's nothing left to take. Oh, yeah, I've talked to him. I mean, I'm just running in circles. Uh, tomatoes. Didn't I plant these already? Oh. It's because I, it said begin. I, I, I thought it was a different thing. Yeah, I hit cancel last time. 30 minutes. All right, we're going to the bar. <clears throat> How are you doing? Uh, chat with Iroha. I feel like I could get this conversation going if I was a little more appealing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, no. Welcome. No. The crafter the, the crafter lady is for Ichiban. <coughs> I do not have anything to trade as far as I know. Thanks. Yes. What's, uh, oh, karaoke. I wonder if I'm even able to do that. I mean, I'll do it anyways. But... Uh, let's, let's hang out with you. So I think we learn a little more of their backstory by hey, doing Ichiban. these. Hey, Ichiban. Wanna grab a drink with me? Sure. <clears throat> but you really know how to knock them back, Sachan. Promise me you'll keep it to one or two. 
Oh, come on. It's no big deal if we drink more than that. It's not like I'm gonna make a move on you. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. So, hey, you're technically still a mama at a hostess club, right? Yeah, but I didn't found the place. I was promoted to mama after Nonomiya saw that I was the best hostess there. <laughs> if you're that good a hostess, you'll be bored drinking with me. I ain't much for clever conversation. Don't be so hard on yourself. It takes practice. I definitely wasn't a natural at it. But neither of us is looking for tips right now, so who cares? <laughs> okay. So what's happening with the club now? Still going strong, even without Nonomiya? I've got the girls holding down the fort. They should be fine, barring any earthquakes. Or ex-boyfriends. Mm. Wow, pretty impressive that you trust your staff to run the whole joint. They know the basics of the business. I'm the kind of mama who teaches her youngsters well. If you do say so yourself. <laughs> well, I do. But of course, it was that desire to educate that caused all the drama in my family. Was that all the stuff with Nanoha and your dad that you mentioned before? I remember Sunlight Castle, that assisted living facility run by the Seryu clan, was taking care of the sister's old man. Oh my god. I don't know how I worked at the, as a Soapland yeah. hostess. Well, at least things have simmered down among us recently. Thanks to you guys. My dad's in a real nursing home now, oh, and Nanoha is looking for a more legit job like she had before. So you call them pretty often? Oh, no. Never. I just have my hostesses secretly check in on them every now and then. Nanoha doesn't want to see me. She'd be furious. Why? You two really can't get along? That's an understatement. I haven't seen her in seven years. I do call her up sometimes, but she never wants to meet in person. Seven I'd years. like to, though, and I tell her that. She turns me down every time. <laughs> Guess I have no one to blame but myself, really. Hmm. I'm listening. It's a boring story. You sure you want to hear it? That's why we're here. I'm here to listen. Well, it's not like you got to entertain me. I'm all about boring stories. You're going to be a nice That's guy. That's right, you do. I don't care if it's so boring it puts history professors to sleep. As long as it's for Mew, I'm all ears. So I have your express permission to rant for the next 10 hours, <clears throat> and you'll sit here and listen? Hell yeah. <laughs> well, that's sweet of you. Line this up. Uh, so go Level ahead. Four. How come you don't get along with Nanoha? Well, I think it's because I was just too controlling. I always had something to say about everything she did. My mom was sick throughout our whole childhood, so I felt like I had to take care of my shy little sister. Little sister? But you're the same age, unless there's a new kind of twin I don't know about. Of course we're the same age. Her personality just always made her seem younger. She was so timid. I was the one with the guts, just like Mom. It's probably why Mom trusted me more than Dad. He was closer to Nanoha since she took after him. I gotcha. Dad wasn't earning much from the little company he ran back then. I tried to help him out by getting a part-time job in high school. Didn't take me long to figure out nightlife entertainment was where the real money was. Pretty soon, I was essentially the breadwinner of the family. And after Mom died, even more so. Mm. All I wanted was for Nanoha to get into a good college and live an honest life. But you think that came off as controlling to her? Yeah. I told her which college to go to. Insisted she become some sort of white-collar professional. But the straw that really broke the camel's back was me chiming in about her new boyfriend. I listed every red flag I could possibly think of, then I asked her if the dude raised any of them. What, like you made a physical list? <laughs> yeah. Stuff like being dirty, acting douchey at restaurants, condescending towards women, always name dropping. There were a lot. I went too far, honestly. But you know what? The bastard did fit a lot of them. She was like, Oh, but he's getting it together. <clears throat> he's starting a consulting firm. Of course. But I told her to dump his ass. I'm betting she didn't like that. No, she did not. She threw stuff, screamed herself hoarse, cried. 
Even my freaking dad cried seeing all the drama. Oh, jeez. It was that intense? I think it always bothered him that he couldn't make enough money to help my mom. He was embarrassed I made more than he did. I remember, after he found out what my pay was, he just started doing whatever I said. And then all of a sudden, during this fight, he started sobbing about how he should have helped Nanoha break free from me. Sounds like he was finally letting out everything he'd bottled up. Yeah. And it turned out Nanoha's boyfriend problem was just the beginning. Because in that moment, I realized my family was distancing themselves from me. Sachan. It was, um, seven or eight years ago when I decided to leave home and just focus on work. Imagine how it felt when Nonomiya called and told me about this new family trouble. How Nanoha chose to work at a soap land instead of asking me for help. I was shocked. <sighs> I really was. Just in case it ever comes up, we're all supposed to pretend you don't know she was working at Otohime Land, right? Knowing my sister, she'd die of embarrassment if she found out I know. Well, then the charade must go on. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think I had one too many after all. I didn't plan on talking for so long. But Shh. thanks for getting a drink with me, Ichiban. Right. Everyone's going through something. Having a friend to talk to you just makes it a little easier. Oh! Level one! I don't know if I'm blocking that. Asuka feels his bond with Saiko grows stronger. She will gain more experience when not in the active party. I still don't have more than four, so... Okay. I can actually do these two, and I think I'm going to. I don't... This is going to be a while, but... Uh, we're we're getting this stuff out of the way at least as much as I can in like two hours ish. All right. The weather's been nice lately, huh? No. Oh. <clears throat> Nanban. We need to talk. <sighs> How do you get over there? Why the long face, Nanban? Something on your mind? Hey, Namba. You good? Oh, Ichiban. Perfect timing. Guess you could already tell, but yeah. I've got to get something off my chest. You got a sec? I won't just listen and nod. Just say what's on your mind. Welcome to the counseling corner. Da Welcome to the counseling corner. <laughs> Today on Kasuga's counseling corner. What in the hell? You're on Ichiban Kasuga's counseling corner, man! From trivial bullshit to life's worst catastrophes, one call solves it all. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> what dumbass would ever go to you for counseling? You! Why, good sir, you're the very first dumbass on the show! Wow, what an honor. Uh, okay, for real, Charisma though, up. I'm all yours. Promise you won't tell a soul? Yeah, cross my heart. Okay, so, last night I had a hankering for a nightcap, so I dragged my ass down here. But it was late, the bartender wasn't around. And so I'm sitting here all by myself. Then I start thinking, what would be the harm in helping myself to a small pour? Just a shot, really. Figured I could pay it back later, you know? That's when I see it. An unopened legend malt, shining in the dark like it had my name on it. Ooh, Guessing it's what's expensive? a legend malt? Expensive? A super high-end whiskey. The king of kings. One glass is at least ten grand. Get out of here. I know, right? I couldn't dream of buying a shot, much less a glass. But I figured a drop would be okay. They don't exactly sell it by the drop, dude. Well, you're right. But I took one anyway, because who was gonna stop me? I poured just a drop onto my hand. And when that sweet honey touched my tongue, I went straight to heaven. It was that good? Best whiskey I've ever had in my life. A taste that I felt through my whole body. A fruity aroma that I can still smell if I try. 
I'm telling you, it was pure magic. All my cares just melted away. Wow. It's really that good? They don't call it the legend for nothing, huh? Yep. Packs a legendary punch, too. Next thing I know, I'm staring down an empty bottle. Oh, way. No. Don't tell me you drank it all? I did. Guess I blacked out or something. But the fact remains, I downed at least a hundred grand worth of whiskey. That's what a homeless man. You say? Well, you think I actually told him? What's he gonna do? Hand me a bill that'll never get paid? What I did instead was I found the nearest mini mart, grabbed the cheapest whiskey <clears throat> I could find, and replaced it. Wait, so the whiskey in the legend malt bottle right now is horse piss to the brim. Dude, someone's gonna find out eventually, you know? I know. Why do you think I'm so stressed out? So come on, Cusco. What would you do if you were me? Uh, um, if it were me, I'd... Stay calm, let him play out. What's done is done. Just saying angels drank it. <clears throat> uh, aren't these all kind of... X. Well, what's done is like done. You can return it. What's done is done, you know. And if I get caught, I just pull something out of my ass. <laughs> that must be nice to have that kind of confidence. I could see that working for you. Yeah, man. No point crying over spilled whiskey. Either way, I can't just ignore what I did. I'm practically a thief now. Yeah, but if you're gonna steal, at least you made it legendary, right? I say you gotta stay cool. See what happens. Hmm. Confidence. Well, well maybe you're right. Well, if it isn't my two favorite vagabonds, why are you two not drinking? Uh, we were just figuring out some life stuff. Without me? <laughs> At least you saved me a seat. Uh, of course we did. Shall we? I'm in the mood for something special today. And I know this place has some killer whiskey. Mm -hmm. uh, you want whiskey? Yeah. There a problem? Not exactly a problem. Good. I was thinking we could do something fancy for once. You don't mean... Bartender, I'll take a 12-year-old silver malt on the rocks. You Ooh. sure? It's 1,500 yen a glass. <laughs> what? A girl can't reward herself every now and again? Oh, thank God. We're gonna <laughs> shit our pants every time someone orders a whiskey now, aren't we? <laughs> no doubt about that. All right, you're gonna get experience out of battle too, or out of the party. Yep. That was good. Once you taste the good stuff, going back to the cheap swill just leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Adachi's already at one, so I don't actually know what I get from this. Kind of like doing the Persona 5 social links you don't know what you're going to get. Either I need my eyes checked or you actually bought a drink from the bar. Hmm? Oh, it's, uh, this just water. You giving just your liver water. a rest? That's rare for you. Nah, uh, it's only because I don't have the money for sake right now. Not even sneaking it in from the convenience store. Damn. You're that broke, huh? I forgot to set aside something for this one big expenditure I have every month. It's stupid. What expenditure? You in debt or something? Nah, nothing like that. I, I've been sending Takashi money. Mm. Oh! Isn't Takashi-kun the son of the guy who was arrested on false charges? Yeah. Kasumi. And he was arrested because I didn't believe Takashi's testimony. Yeah, but you also tried to get Kuzumi released, right? Or Nouchi's the one who shot it down. <laughs> Doesn't matter whose fault it is. Nothing will bring Kasumi back from the dead. And you don't know how shitty it got for Takashi. First his dad killed himself, then his mom passed away from grief. Poor kid ended up in an orphanage. Well, ever since then, I've been sending Takashi money every month. Under a fake name, of course. Why a fake name? Because Takashi wouldn't accept money from me. I'm one of the cops who locked up his old man. So I started sending money to him under the pseudonym Yamada. That's a hell of a good deed, Adachi-san. 
But wouldn't Takashi wonder why the heck some stranger named Yamada-san was sending money? <laughs> oh, I didn't overlook that. See, I played this Yamada-san character as a rich guy with a passion for philanthropy. And it worked. Mm. Takashi took the money without thinking twice about it. A passion for philanthropy, huh? That's some real commitment. You're like Daddy Longlegs. Maybe we should get you a suit. Honestly, Maybe we should get you a Adachi suit. Honestly, san you've got the perfect build to play a rich philanthropist. <clears throat> you look damn sharp in a fancy suit. <laughs> oh, sure, yeah, with a handkerchief peeking out of the pocket, huh? Look at that. You're already thinking about the details. You should go out and get one. For real. Come on. A flunky like me can't afford Style a suit like up. that. Not when I'm helping Takashi. Seriously, man, doing that for 20 years is freaking amazing. I just figured it was the least I could do for the kid, you know? That's <clears> not <throat> how I would describe it. Especially now that you no longer have a job. Well, that's a good point. You know, isn't Takashi-kun all grown up by now? Uh, he's, uh, 25. Don't you think he should be able to stand on his own two feet at this point? Well, except now he's prepping for law school, so... Oh, yeah? He wants to be a lawyer? Yep. Another blood-sucking lawyer. <laughs> nah, but maybe it won't corrupt him that much. I mean, he's a good kid. You know, he writes me a letter every month and thanks me for the money. But those letters are how I know he's trying to get into law school. Oh. Maybe he was inspired to do that because of what happened to his dad. Uh, I wondered the same thing. That's why I thought I'd keep helping him until he passes the bar exam. Well, the bar exam's supposed to be pretty tough, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Now he's been studying his ass off for the exam since college. It hasn't been easy for him. He lives on wages from his part-time job and the money I send him. Doesn't go out or party, just studies. Sure hope he passes then. <laughs> Hopefully he'll manage to do it this year. Hopefully he'll be okay sending him money until then. It's gotta be rough. Well, to tell you the truth, that's a big factor. If he can't support himself soon, I don't think my heart's gonna hold up under the stress of all my stupid money troubles. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Now it all makes sense why you're broke. No, oh, thanks. Hope you're uh, rooting for me, at least. Yeah, of course I'm rooting for you. Good. Then what do you say to buying me a drink? Oh, we got an option? <laughs> I walked right into that one. Come on, a clink of the glass would be music to my ears. Fine, fine. <laughs> Not like I can say no after a story like that. Hey, Do bartender! It. Can I get in an order? Oh, here comes Bond level two. Surprised how far ahead he is. Well, it's because I didn't do the other ones early enough. Kasuga feels his bond with Adachi grows stronger. Adachi will gain more experience when he's not an active party, and Adachi can now change to the breaker job. Okay. Uh, what? Where was that? Check jobs. He couldn't do that before. Okay. Oh. These are all bond related. Every single one of them. Okay. I uh, I don't know. I'm I I think the breaker job I I need to see more of it. It's not not that great yet. Yeah, let's sing a song. Oh, X turn yeah, j j just the right. I got it. Oh, uh What was I doing? Uh, which song? Movies. Okay. Oh. These are definitely going to be copyright. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> I know that song. Whatever. Copyright. Not, I don't care. Check this out, guys. Hmm. 
Yeah, that second song I remember from you, Kids of Zero. There are days you'll be weak. There are days you'll be lost. There are times where you feel you want to run and hide. There are days you'll be down. And you start to wonder if the world would be better off if you died. I have those days too. Digimon! I believe, I believe I'm gonna make it through and I won't run oh. away. <laughs> I so won't bad. die. I'm gonna level up, be the best that I can be. And I'm not gonna stop questing until I'm a hero. I'm Aww. gonna level up. Oh, the background. I'm like watching the background and missing. I just game so wholesome. God damn it. Bad. Normally you need more than 90 to uh, get a a thing. Now, do I do all of them? I kind of want to, but that is not really an essential thing for me right now. It was it was it was cool though. I, I like how they do the little relating relating it to the real life thing. Yeah, but I'm gonna make sure we get all our side content out of the way. We do every karaoke song and do every mini game and all that stuff and it, that, that's that's mostly stuff when you when you get the game yourself to do. Okay, let's start getting some stuff done. So, oh, we can go back there. So I am going to meet you there in a few minutes. Well, for you it'll be. Never mind. And here we are. <laughs> Flowers can bloom in some pretty unexpected places. Back when I was working, I didn't pay much attention to the city. But you'd be surprised what you see if you look. <laughs> really? I'll have to keep an eye out. Oh, nice. Looks like Kuroi is... Kuroi's doing just fine. Hey, look at that. What is it? Talk about Beauty and the Beast. Those two don't match up at all. Yeah, guy's like a wild dog, am I right? Yeah, a real mutt. You guys are terrible. Man, Beauty and the Beast. Whoa, don't sneak up on me out like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Apparently Shirakawa-san and I aren't mm. a good fit. Hmm? I thought I'd even cross my mind. Well, I can't keep looking like some raggedy old hound. I don't want to embarrass Shirakawa-san. You want me to go buy you clothes? What should I change <sighs> first? What should you change? Why would you change Shirakawa? Um, clean up your face first. How about your face? Uh, like plastic surgery? You're right. She'd never go for this ugly one. Nah, not like that. Like cut your hair or put on makeup or something. Uh, I meant just clean it. It is dirty as hell. Oh, that's what you meant. Hmm, I don't know if that'll be enough. You got me there. Maybe there's something else you could change. Sup? Huh, why not change your clothes? I'm sure she'll notice that. You have anything else you can wear? I'm sorry to say, but this is all I have. Alright, well, we'll just have to go buy some. How much you got on you? I've got nothing. But I'll try and do something about that. For Shirakawa-san, and my new friend who's been cheering <laughs> me on. <laughs> sure. I'm really rooting for you, man. Thank you. Hopefully you can help me with my outfit once I get some money. And at this point, I'd just buy him an outfit. The guy sounds a lot more confident now. At this rate, he's got it in the bag. Actually, no. You buy him in an outfit, and he, he's not earning it. He, 
He's not. He's not trying. He's just having a hand it to him. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that idea. I take it back. Okay. Well, we'll have to come back to them again. But which one were you? You're right next to. Someone wanted to meet me on that road. The old man. Uh, we're gonna get food with him after he built that shelf and gave it to the kid. Yeah. So, here we go. Oh. My shoulders are feeling kind of tense. It'd be nice to go to a hot spring. Hot spring sounds nice. Coffee milk tastes a hundred times better when you first get out of the bath, too. I used to go to the public baths a lot back before I was homeless. I loved drinking milk right when I got out of the bath. Just like hmm? Ichiban. I'd knock them back like nobody's business. Hmm? Uh, knock them back all you want, as long as they stay knocked back. You think I'd puke it up? No way. I can keep hmm? any thing down. Uh, I don't know hmm? about that. Hmm. We keep finding those in really random spots. Uh, but I mean, that's the point. All right. Well, we're we're basically here, so let's just keep going. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I need some meal. Yes, I must. Uh oh! I have full health. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll get something. Me. Oops. Yeah, your evasion was boosted. Tasty. <laughs> that was double arrow up. Uh, I think it's out of three. So, evasion up, evasion greatly up, and then like massively up. Hmm? I don't know. Hmm? Oh no. Huh? Hey, wait. This is the bookshelf that we gave to Shotoku. Ooh. Sorry to keep you waiting, Kasuga san. Hmm? That's. Oh. Ooh. Ah. This is the bookshelf we made. Well, I had a feeling this might happen. I'm just an old bum after all. Yo, enough of that, all right? It's not like you gave him a crap, crap gift. Yeah. The bookshelf's not the problem here. Us homeless folk aren't exactly accepted by the rest of society. To them, we're just smelly, dirty, good-for-nothing capable... Good-for-nothings capable of lashing out or doing something crazy at a moment's notice. Hey, that's not... <clears throat> A bookshelf from someone like me belongs in the trash. Sorry, Kasuga-san. I think I lost my appetite. We'll eat together some other time. Aww. Ugh. You gotta find out who really did it. <sighs> Jinai-san seemed pretty down. I should probably go check on him. Oh, I have to go all the way back. But we have another one right here, so... <laughs> we're just hopping around. Yep. Hopefully we'll be able to take care of all these. So, see you there. Mm, oh, this is a cafe. Oh, no. This is for the baby formula quest. I needed hot water for that baby. Maybe I can ask for some. Sup? Still don't know why we're doing this. Hey, there's been a childbirth nearby and they need some hot water. Think I could trouble you for some? That's quite serious. I'll prep some right away. Wait just a moment. Sure, thanks. Hot water. Alright, got the hot water. Better head back, get back to Oshima. Uh, yeah, no. No, 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 we're, we're good. Arigatou I still have no idea, like, we never even went in there to ask if they needed help. We just took off. We're going to come back in the, well, not to mention it's actually technically been a mov over a weekend game. Oh, you're still hanging out. Yep, yep. I'm here. Kasuga-san, I'm already on my end. Did you get the yeah. hot water? Yeah, got it right here. Hot water and towels. Perfect. Let's go. 
Hey, are you all right? Is there anything That's we can voice. do to? Huh? Oh no. Oh, Susumu-chan, you're so needy. Okay, time for Baba. <laughs> Censor it. <laughs> what the? Uh. You're the fuckers with the baby formula. Oh my God, it's the Yakuza. That's the dude who threatened Oshima. <laughs> the hell's uh. going on? Sorry to bother you, boys. Uh, yo, let's go. Uh, yes, goodbye. Not so fast, chief. <laughs> no, we're gonna have to fight him. You got balls stepping into my big comfy crib. Think you can mm -hmm. waltz in here and spoil our fun? Come on, boys. Let's pacify this bitch. Sir! Not a loser. Gondawara family patriarch. Okay, You're gonna be in a world of hurt. We get we get the good music. Come up. I haven't heard this one in a while. This is the perfect room for his his spinny move. Oh, that was this was unnecessary. Yeah, waste of action. SP. MP. Uh, actually, I'm gonna make you bleed. Oh my god. Maximum flare. I never once thought maybe there would be a <laughs> this this going on. Yeah. Apologies for barging in here, but this this is all just a huge misunderstanding. Huh? I'm listening. Well, you don't need to hear it. Actually. I get it. You thought my crying was from a real baby. You did a yes, good job. We're really sorry for ruining your uh, fun. No, no, I wasn't aware. I'm the one who's sorry. These days, a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. To think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know. <laughs> what are your names? Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, Masato Oshima. I see. Fine names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. Can we move the Seems text my box up a little? Some baby <laughs> Yeah, Boys, he, he was. Get these two some new baby formula on the double. Yes, sir. This dude's the patriarch. Here <laughs> I was thinking I saw everything the Yakuza had to oh, offer. Well, we're actually quite all right on the baby formula. Please, no, no need to trouble yourselves. I step out of the house for a quick errand and I'm gone for an eternity. My wife's gonna kill me. Ah, oh, come on. You'll just be a little late. <laughs> Your old lady that scary? Mm, no, she's just been a little strained lately. I've been working my butt off for the sake of our child, but all she does is nag at me. Mm. Masato-chan, do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid? Have you ever bothered to help your wife, even just a little? Eric Olympic. What? Like, just holding a baby's a lot of work. You have to support their neck until they can keep their head up on their own. Lots to look out for, no matter how small the task. Babies are weak, delicate creatures, very fragile. You can't blame your wife for being a little stressed out. Huh. That's right. Saya-chan's telling the truth. When us babies get our milk, we gotta burp, so we need a little back pat. <laughs> There's all sorts of shit like that. Oh my god. Now that you mention it, she is always doing those things. When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. Hey, it's our job to cry. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night, we'll cry when we feel like it. 
She's one of my favorite voice I actors. See. Female voice actor. And here I was, jealous of how she got to sleep while I was out working all night. Your wife probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty freaking exhausting. Oh. Masato-chan, you should sit down and talk with your wife. I'm sure it's hard for both of you, but your relationship's probably strained right now because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. You're right. I guess at some point I started to think I was the one having the tougher time. We already but gave him that advice. I never thought about how my wife was feeling. I'm gonna talk to my wife when I get home. I'll make sure we raise our kid right. I'm a okay. father after all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. That's the spirit. Just don't try to do everything yourself. Family's gotta support one another. Go on. Hurry back to your wife and make things right. You got this baby's approval, so I'm sure you'll do just fine. Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. Best of luck. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. Well then. Why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? Join us, why don't you? Oh no. Me? That's right. No need to be shy. Am I gonna miss out on something if I don't drink? <laughs> oh, whatever. Kasha can sure. <laughs> live a little. What the hell? Yeah, what the hell? Maybe. This is really awkward. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, that's God's work right there. What do you think? Good shit, ain't it? Uh... Yeah, I mean, yeah. half bad. Oh. Right, right. Boys, two more baby bottles. Room temp. Uh, yes, sir. Now. What say we enjoy this second bottle good and proper? Huh? Boys, get this man a diaper. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> this is happening? Oh, no. I should have... No, hold up. I didn't say shit about wearing a... Hey, what the hell, man? Let me go. Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll... Oh. Um. Oh, my passion went up. Yep. My passion went up a lot. I had a feeling they were going to be pound mates. Fervent. Well, that's awkward. And it's over, thankfully. Now I got to use that pound mate. Okay. I'm going to head back here. Definitely. Actually, you know what? Maybe... Something. How much is a taxi? Right here. Oh! I should be using taxis more. A thousand yen? Janai was pretty beat up about that bookshelf. Hope he's alright. Hey, there he is. Sup? Hey, buddy. Cheer up. I know it's hard and all. Uh, oh, Kasuga-san. Mr. Shotokun. Oh, no. Hey, you with the fro? Give me back my bookshelf. Huh? Huh? Give it back? Didn't you throw it away? Well, actually, it wasn't me. It was... Ate. Shota, what are you doing? Dad. Yeah, I, I knew it. What's gotten into you, running out of the house like that? To think you've come all the way, all this way for this hunk of junk. It's not junk, it's my bookshelf. Sumano. Sorry about that. That was just a little something I gave to Shota-kun. I knew it. I thought I saw Shota talking to some bum. Well, he's not going to accept charity from some washed up burnouts like you. Hit him. Now, let's go, Shota. You and me are going to have a serious talk when we get home. 
Okay. Wait. This is all my fault. Please don't blame Shotokun. Can it? You have no right to tell me how to raise my kid. You stay away from my son, you hear me? Hey. Hey, give the guy a break. He just thought it'd be nice to. And who are you? One of this bum's grimy little friends? I swear, you're like cockroaches. Just hear me out. We just wanted wanted to make Shota no. happy. As if I'd believe you. You're probably just roping my son into your latest sc scam. Not like that at all. Don't bother trying to explain it. I didn't want to resort to violence, but this is to protect Shota. I'll make sure you and your friends never come near my son. <laughs> Great. We're really past talking already. Have it your way, then. You are not going to like what's coming, guy. Okay. Guard. Guard. Don't get cocky. Let's see it. Wait. Oh, I... I clicked on Nancy. I, I, I was assuming the third one would be them, but uh, the, the, they were actually unavailable then. You're still not going to like what's coming. Good job, Nancy. Oh, he, he is down. Just beat him. Oh, that poison hurts so much. So... I'll have to check it out. I know they said you can't use certain ones at certain times. What's this all about? Huh? What's this all about? Huh? Oh, thank God. I just want to protect Shota. Do you mellowed out yet? That old man gave the kid that bookshelf because he knew it was his birthday. He was just trying to do something nice for him. His, his birthday? Did you forget? You mean you his forgot birthday? your own kid's birthday? And you were trying to blame the old man? No, it's not that. Dad's been working really hard ever since Mom passed away. I can't blame him for forgetting. No. No matter the reason, a parent who forgets their child's birthday has failed at being a parent. Dad... Since the day we said goodbye to your mother, I've done everything I can to make sure I could provide for you. It was all for you. But maybe that was a mistake. You know, I get the feeling we're pretty similar, you and I. Huh? I also had a family before I ended up out on the street. I had a son just like Shotokun, as a matter of fact. Hmm. I grew up in a poor household as a kid. So I worked from morning till night to make sure my kids wouldn't have to go through the same thing. Never once thought of how it might affect them. In the end, my family gave up on me. And here I am. I'd lost sight of what was really important. Hmm. Failure's a natural part of life. Some failures you can take back, and some you can't. And that's where we differ, you see. I'd say you still have a chance, don't you think? A chance? Huh? Dad, are you sure about that bookshelf? Well, what's wrong? If I'm buying you books, you're gonna need a bookshelf, right? Now that I look at it, it's not a bad bookshelf. Dad! All we have to do is punch everyone into, like, the right mindset. <laughs> Violence solves everything. Uh, I'm not, I'm not... 
I'm not serious. This is for your troubles. Please, take it. Sorry about earlier. Hold on, a sacrifice stone? I think I'll take that what? chance you mentioned. <laughs> Pick out some good books for him, all right? Of course. Why don't you give him a job? Thanks, you two. I'll treasure this bookshelf for the rest of my life. Ah, sounds good. Get along with your dad now. I will. See you later. Bye. I'm glad it all worked out. Yeah. And you said nobody would be happy with a present from someone like you. But you're dead wrong. Your gift wasn't dirty or grimy. You made that bookshelf with love. That's the best kind of present anyone could ever ask for. <laughs> Wood's a little grimy, but... It's the thought that counts. End. All right. We have two side missions to do. And, yeah, we have plenty of time. Nice. Oh, make that three. Wow, they're just going to keep popping up. Actually, I haven't even looked at my actual time. Yeah. Uh, main story. Be a mentor to Karoi. Karoi. Oh, that, that actually moved over there? Well, anyways. We're going here first. <laughs> that face is always so creepy. I wonder why. Huh. I feel like I've seen it somewhere. No way. No, really, I think I have. Yeah, we definitely know someone who looks like this. Oh, it's Do Adachi san. Oh. <laughs> well, give me a break. I'm a little more put together than that. Actually, don't you think it looks a little too divine to be Adachi san? Now that you mention it, yeah. Sorry, Adachi san. Guess it's not you at all. I'm about to lose it with you two. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Kinda similar. And we're here, so. Ooh, check that fruit out. Didn't notice this was a persimmon tree. Persimmon? Damn, it's a big one, ain't it? Hello there. Hmm? Hello? Are you out for a stroll too? It's the perfect weather for it. Yeah, sure. Hey, Kanachan. <sighs> you guys taking a walk too? Yes, staying cooped up in the house doesn't do much for one's health. So we step out for a walk from time to time. Oh, cool. Not like it matters. I'm going to die soon anyway. Once that persimmon falls from that tree, my life is over. There you go again with that nonsense. Sorry about that. No, don't sweat it. Well, if you'll excuse us, let's go, Kanachan. That girl. Mm. I wonder if she's sick. When the persimmon falls from the branch. Oh. Persimmon premonition. Huh. This seems like one we'll have to come back to. Or maybe if we go into the... Oh, you're ready. Hey, they're ready to harvest. Two tomatoes. I don't have any more. Oh, I got hot pepper seeds. What do we got? Ten minutes. If I step in here. And leave. Does that count as time passing? Nope, the quest is still uh, there. Okay, well, we're heading to this guy again. Who's going to get cleaned up to try to be with that girl. Oh my god, I walked like five feet. 
I told our bartender I was growing plants, and he said if I brought him in, he could make me something cool. Oh, uh, yeah, I bet. That guy's a bottomless well of hidden talents. <clears throat> Don't surprise me at all. In fact, I bet if you bring him some flowers, he could whip up some really fancy bouquets. Uh, feel like a bento? You just bring that guy the ingredients, he'll box it up for you. He even taught himself how to blend traditional Chinese medicine out of crazy herbs and shit. Let me tell you, <clears throat> works wonders. Uh, I don't know about that. I prefer to know what's going into the medicine I take. <laughs> Just take my word for it. Let him work his magic. Yeah, you're right. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he can do. Ooh, Adachi's almost at rank three. Or bond three. Well, now we're already here, so... Let's just keep going. No battles. No battles. I do battles off screen. For the most part. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the main story. Oh, okay. This isn't that episode. Oh, my God. They're right in front of them. Can I... What are you wearing? Tissues? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, it's Kuroi. Uh, looks like he's working hard. Get your tissues here. Oh, oops. <laughs> My bad. Didn't see you. Huh. Did you just puke on him? Or did you just... Sounded like you puked on him. G get your tissues here. Right here. Look at that smug face. He's really getting pushed around. He must be real desperate. <laughs> Putting everything he's got into a job that's probably paying peanuts. Well, that is not me. It may not be glamorous, but I have to change. And for that, I need money. So no matter what anyone else tells me, I'm going to hand out these tissues. All right. Tissues, tissues here. <laughs> Kuroi's finally showing some backbone. I don't want to interrupt him on the job, though, so I'll ask him about it at the park. You son of a bitch. Oh, and that one's back now. <laughs> Man, I just wanted to get a, I want to get to a point where we can focus on main story. Uh, so I don't get sidetracked in the main episodes as much. All right, we're going. We're going for this one. I can taxi back to the other ones. I hope I can get taxis to these other places soon, because that would that would help. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Page day calendars are all the rage right now. The ones with daily words of encouragement from famous idols are especially popular. The fanboys are scooping them right off the shelves. I, mean, I guess it's pretty mm. fun to flip the pages every day. Huh. So, flipping pages is fun, huh? Hey, what about a page a second calendar, huh? Well, if flipping a page once a day is fun, then imagine flipping one every second. I'm on to uh, something, don't you think? We should patent it. Uh, but if you're doing it every second, what do you do if you get out of sync? Well, then you just flip two pages. Then if it's three seconds, flip three. Oh, I feel kind of bad for the idols that get skipped over. Oh, that's true. Uh, Page of second calendars dead before it left. Couldn't agree more, but I think skipping over idols is the least of its problems. Yeah. <laughs> so I, ha I had a thought. This is the only place I have 100% mapped out. Oh, no, 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 that's a lie. Because this little corner and this little spot. I didn't know if, like, taxis were based off of... Like mapping an area completely. There's little spots. I don't know. Maybe it's just story progress. Anyways. Oh my god. I should have been doing this the whole time. I saw that I interacted with this taxi. <laughs> I could have been un unlocking fast travel. Well, you have to learn sometime. Mm -hmm. 
I just realized we, we haven't hmm? been anywhere up here, so maybe I'm gonna show a little bit of it. Hmm? I noticed one thing when I when I watch hmm? Let's Plays is uh, I, d I don't I don't like it when I'm not able to get familiar with a place myself. You know, if they just keep skipping to the next spot. So, we're, we're close anyways, but yeah. It helps to be a little familiar yourself with the areas. And this place is definitely different. I think we're almost there. I don't know if the enemies are going to be tougher here. Well, a mantis? Empty cicada. Ch cicada cell? Intellect goes up? Oh, bug enthusiast. We at part-time hero esteem, esteem your valiant efforts. You are able to report in on the request you accept, accepted. We highly recommend you stop at a nearby location to report in. And remember, a journey of a thousand kilometers begins with a single step. Okay, I should probably report in soon. Oh, we got an SOS over there, too. There's shops. Let's get the quest first. Wow. This place is a lot bigger than I, I thought it would be. Hmm? Gotta get hmm? that money. We're at 83k right hmm? now. 84. Hmm? Hmm? Went from homeless to 84k. We're, we're not doing too bad. Okay, nothing. Dragon cart? Yeah, he's got it on the back. Hmm? That's... Uh, hey, surprised. you there! Ever thought about entering the wild world of dragon cart? Huh? Dragon cart? The hell's that? Welcome to dragon cart. We skipped a quite Dragon a few sub-story numbers there. It's a kart racing sensation that's taken this town by storm. You've seen go-karts in amusement parks before, yes? Mm-hmm. Oh, go-karts. Yeah, I don't hate them or anything, but I don't really have time to goof off in an amusement park. I'll see you around. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold doing on this. now. Just a moment. Dragon cart is quite different from your regular run-of-the-mill go-karts. Yeah, how so? Unlike those peaceful amusement parks, Dragon Cart makes its home right here in the lawless streets of Yokohama. Oh, of course it does. You mean around town? That's right. You can even attack your opponents during the race, thanks to the various upgrades we have available. Shouldn't be announcing Sorry, did this you in say public. Attack? Boy, did I. Of course, you can be attacked as well. There's a limit to how much damage your cart can take, too. Take too much, and you'll be stopped dead in your tracks and lose out on time. So you need to be extremely careful. Sounds pretty yeah. extreme for go-karting. Hence the name Dragon Cart. You can also pick up items on the track to help you along during the race. Use any means necessary to get that checkered flag. So, what do you think? I managed to catch your interest? Definitely sounds more fun when you throw in that bit about attacking each other. Keep ahead of the pack with speed, or take down your rivals through brute force. These options are just another part of Dragon Cart's many charms. You'll be started off with a fairly standard cart, but you'll later be able to upgrade it to your liking. Anyway, I think at this point it might be best if you try getting behind the wheel yourself. Why not I'm give very it a spin when racing. you get some free time. Dragon card. Racing around Yokohama does sound pretty fun. Maybe I'll try it out. Hmm. Hell yeah, let's give it a go. Please do. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name's Fujisawa. I organize the races here at Dragon Card. Name's Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you, Fujisawa san. It's nice to meet you. Now, let's get you into a cart. Right on. Okay. Yeah, I'm not very good at racing. Oh, this is. Yep. Yep.
very much uh, parody again. Excel X to drift around curves. Press O to use the items you pick up. Okay. Colliding with a rival cart or getting struck by an item will lower the durability. Yeah, you crash and lose time when you hit zero. Okay, the rings increase max speed and recover durability. Uh, square to switch items. Okay. Get ready to eat dust! Oh, it's music. Oh, God. Oh, uh, yeah. My ring. Oh, wait, I want that. Oh, I didn't get it. We can. I thought I got that. Oh. Oops, oops, that was dumb. That was okay, these increase my max speed. Continuously? I thought X was drift. Why is X jump? Oh. Yeah, I got it. By the way, I've never played, you know, like Mario Kart or anything like that, so. Oh, I hit a wall. I'm just not very, very good at this game. Hey, what do we got? Keep switching stuff out. Are these front or back? They're front. Yeah. Love the music. I'm so far ahead, I don't think they can use items on me. Keep up, will ya? That music. Oh, camera angles. What are you? Do I have to use my items before I can actually... What? Yeah, so you can only, uh... If you use your items before you can pick up more. Well, you, you're doing really bad, guy. Get that. <laughs> Oh, primal Road. So, how was your first race? Surprisingly good. Yeah, it's way different than driving a normal car. Definitely a thrill. Fun, too. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I hope you'll consider entering one of the tournaments next time. If you thought yeah. that race was exciting, just wait till you see what comes next. And please talk to me should you ever feel like entering. You can ask me for time trials and customization as well. So think of me as your one-stop shop for all things Dragon Cart. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. Aren't you the guy that was racing earlier? Huh? Those outfits. Hey, you're right. Nice driving out there. <laughs> Erica again. Oh, hey! Naoki-san, Ai-san, Hamanaumi-san. Uh, aren't they cold? <laughs> Great job out there! Very nice driving. Think so? I felt like I was barely trying. <laughs> oh, of course. So, you a new driver? Let me introduce you. This is Ichiban Kasuga-san. Today was his first time in a cart. Oh, I see. Then hey, we might end up in a tournament sometime. Just know that if we do, I'll crush you. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> you better say your prayers. See you later, rookie. But if you value your life, it might be better for you to just watch. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Huh? I gave you all your say, but damn if you don't talk a lot of trash. You guys got me pretty fired up. But you're gonna be eating my dust next race, so be sure to open wide. Ooh. 
<laughs> Some talk. You better remember those words. I'll be looking forward to it. Hey, now. It's all fine and dandy to get heated, but I won't allow any fighting. If you're gonna have at it, settle it on the track. That's right. Bye-bye, Fujisawa-san. Ichiban-kun. Bye. <sighs> See you in Sidetracked Part 2. Oh, boy. <laughs> As you can see, the racers in this town are rather unique. And they're strong to boot. <laughs> they're definitely something. So wait, who all am I going up against exactly? Let's see. First, we have... Uh, Naoki-san. A former Olympic wrestler. He's got power and reflexes. And if you let your guard down, he'll tear both you and your cart in half. Ama Naomi san, a sumo wrestler who holds third seat in the Maigashira rank. His immense power keeps others from following behind him, and he'll run you off course in no time flat. Naoki san and Hama Naomi san are known as the dreaded two headed bomb. Ai san, a dealer at a casino, known as the speedster of Hama. She is unrivaled when it comes to straightaways. Okay. The Madam Matsuko san. She puts the majority of her husband's money her. into her cart. A formidable veteran driver who will obstruct anything and everything that gets near her, be it a cart or a small child. She's also fairly speedy, and together with Ison, she forms one half of a duo known to some as the Rocket Girls. The Rocket Girls. Suguru-san, a public trading company employee, a true intellectual. He learns each and every inch of the course through his superb analytical skills, shortcuts and all. Akira-san, leader of the biker gang Agepoyo and conqueror of Ibaraki. He's in the race in hopes of expanding his territory to Kanagawa. His use of motorcycle technique is brilliant, and the graceful beauty of his cornering, combined with the malice and cruelty of his attacks, is truly a sight to behold. Okay. The Yakuza Jin-san. A super aggressive racer. It's said the man is the definition of hell on wheels. Together, Suguru san, Akira san, and Jean san are known as the Drift Musketeers, and they are a huge hit with the ladies. I was so far ahead of you guys, okay. I didn't even know that you were in the cover race. cover all the recent entrants. They're all rather formidable opponents, but don't let that intimidate you. A hell of a lineup. If you can win among these racers, then you're a sure competitor for the top racer in the country. Get out there and do your best. I gotcha. All right, let's do the this. The whole country. Just let me know whenever you want to race. I'll be waiting for you. Yep. Yeah, you got it. I'll come by again later. Probably like chapter 8.5. A dragon card, huh? Sounds like it'll be fun. I'll stop yeah. by when I have time. <laughs> He's sure to be a fun racer to watch. Welcome to Dragon Cart. This popular attraction, yep, speeding around the city, mm, feeling the wind, custom, custom designed engines. Oh. Uh, this is all stuff he said. Yep. The whole thing. Okay. Oh, wait. Hello? Wood block. Oh, you sell music. Okay. Do what you sell. Hold on. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to need some seeds here. Like, uh, let's get some carrot seedlings. Sure. The potato. Hot peppers. Uh, like, yeah, just everything. But what I was really concerned about... Aha! Uh, that's one of the kappas that, that was in the part-time hero request. 
Did I miss the first one? I, I didn't get a prompt like that before. Huh. Okay. Well, now, please, please don't have updated the side quest. Here and here. We'll go straight back. Now that we have like a line of taxis to go back to. Oh, no, no, no. no. Well, we'll, we'll do this first. Got to get the SOS. Right. It's not you. When I grow up, I want to be a pro gamer. I'll sign up for next year's inner fighter tournament. Unleash some major ponage and... Oh, wait. I need to ask my mom first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. me oh right my bad sorry we'll get out of here huh so this is what it looks like guess there aren't as many stalls i mean it is the men's room nothing worse than when all the stalls are taken up and you're standing there about the piss or shit yourself feels like an eternity sometimes yeah, first guy to open up a stall is basically oh. a messiah never would have taken you for the religious type <laughs> that, that came out of nowhere uh, oh, apparently the mission's in the stall. What? What is the mission? There's someone hiding in the bathroom and they need toilet paper. Uh, gonna need some backup here. What? what? Man awaiting salvation. The port? This one. Oh, I had to bring them pocket tissues. Oh, I'll have to go back and find them. Okay. It's on my list. You're going to be on that toilet for like a week. So uh, take the taxi. Uh, to here. I get there's a there's a challenge for taking taxis. Interesting. That guy wants to join my party. Gotta heal up. I hope this is the end of this. Wait, why are you dressed like a bum again? <laughs> oh, I have to get, help you get clothes. Kaskasan, I was waiting for you. Look at this. Now I can buy some clothes. Great job, but this probably won't get you more than, like, a shoe. Singular. Uh. No way. How much do you think I'll need? Mm. Well, if you go with something on the cheap, you might be able to scrape by. terracotta -san. Oh. That low-end shit ain't exactly gonna win you any points. Oh, Terracotta-san. Wait, how did you know? As if it was a big secret. It's plain as, n as the nose on your face. Anyway, never mind that. I came to give you this. Oh. Where'd you get all that? Huh? From me and the other boys. Watching you all go out there and earn like that, it was, not it was hard to not root for you. Terracotta-san. Good luck out there. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Let's go get you some new threads. Okay. Are we? Are we? Yeah, straight there. Oh, this is where we brought Bubble Boy. Yeah, haircut. That'll do. He cleaned up. <clears throat> what do you think? Hey, not bad. You're like a whole new man. I'm so relieved. I should show Shirakawa-san. She's probably like, already got a boyfriend. Oh, that would be sad. Just so happens it's a soup kitchen day. Perfect timing, let's go.
I know. Shirakawa san. There's no voices here. This quest isn't over. Oh, Kiroi san. <laughs> wow, look at you. You look amazing. Oh, uh, thank you. Those two girls are going to come back and be like, it's not <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Reaction like that, I'd say we didn't do half bad. I hope this changes how others see him a bit. Keep at it, Kiroi. We're not done? Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, Kasuga-san. Thank you so much for last time. No worries. Looks like you two really hit it off. Happy for you. Yes, on that note, I had something I wanted to discuss with you, Kasuga-san. I know it might be a bit early, but I was thinking of asking Shiro Shirakawa-san out on a date. Know any good places for a date? Having no experience, I'm not really sure where to take her. Might be too early to say, but he's acting a hell of a lot more positive than he used to, so that's good at least. Mm. A first date, huh? Okay. Not the hotel. The house? No. The, the theater. Yeah. Take her to the movies. You guys can talk about it afterwards. Style up. See what you both Arigato thought. Gozaimasu. I see. Yeah, that'll definitely keep the conversation going. Thank you, Kasuga-san. Oh, yeah, and since it's a date, you guys should go see one of the those romantic flicks. Romantic. Okay, I understand. I'll go and ask her out right away. Does she have an eye patch? Uh-oh. Shirakawa-san. Uh oh, your face. Are you all right? Oh, Kiroi-san. I'm fine. I just, uh... Bumped into something, that's all. Pork soup coming right up. Oh, well, I... Wait, no, yes, thank you. But actually, I have something I wanted to ask you. Uh -huh. Oh? What is it? Um, would you like to go to the movies with me? What? Is that a no? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just surprised. And it, it's definitely not a no. You've changed, Kuroi-san. You're totally different from when I first met you. You think Hi. so? Yes. I could learn a thing or two from you. I'll be looking forward to the movie. Oh, no. Damn, that went well. <laughs> Shirakawa-san said yes. We're meeting at Seagull Cinema around noon. Is that the one I went to? Right. I was thinking of getting her a gift for our date, but I wanted to ask no. you for your advice again. Nah, you don't need me anymore, man. Huh? You know her better than I do at this point. I'm sure you'll come up with something. Just keep doing what you're doing. Ooh. Oh. I guess I do know her a little better now. Yeah, okay. They're meeting at Se Seagull Cinema. Don't make me do S's. I don't see it. Is this it? That's it. But they're not on the map. Do I have to, like... Alright, let's do this other thing first. But they did say I needed to report into part-time here. So, hi. Yes. Bug delivery. 3,000. A helmet and a wood block. Hold on, I don't have the new bugs, do I? Okay. Helmet's nothing special. Let's see. Work clothes. That's not bad at all. Uh, wait, or not? Now you change from work overalls to a jacket. Why? Just for defense. No. Yeah, I think we're good. 
Oh yeah, I wanted to see this. When knocked out, HP recovers and this item breaks. Okay, normal, normal th stuff. Exactly what I was expecting. Uh, HP versus dexterity. I'll take dexterity. Huh. You're finally not wearing a dirty rag on your head. Okay, we're going up there, so see you there. Okay, we're here, and I found a taxi right there, right next to the bar. That would have helped. Because I want to be able to come back here easily. Ooh, kindness up. Let's plant some carrots. Yeah, I should probably get some fertilizer at some point, but... It's fine. Persimmon guy. Hello. Hey. The kid's not with you today, right? Or today. What? Oh, hey. you're the man from earlier. No, she's resting at home today. Her surgery is soon, and so she's not able to go outside as often. Surgery? <sighs> Kanachan, my daughter, was born significantly weaker than most children. They get to go to school while she does her learning at the hospital. She's been recently treat receiving treatment before the her upcoming surgery. On days when she fe was feeling better, she we'd go out for a walk like last time. Despite that, it seems the routine has finally ca caused her to shut herself in. I had no idea. Does the surgery sound promising? Mm. Well, she's healthy enough to go through it. The problem is that she's losing her will to live. And that certainly mm -hmm. complicates things. Her will to live? Yes. One's well-being is often dependent on willpower. Even if the body is doing well, a lack of willpower will eventually drag the body down with it. Wow. That's true. Right. I guess she's got to want to make it through, too, through it, too. Exactly. I've been trying to do what I can, like taking her outside for walks, but it doesn't seem to be helping. You can see this tree from our home nearby, and each time she looks out the window, it's the same thing. Once that persimmon falls from the tree, my life is over. I'm starting to figure that when the persimmon does fall, her life really will fall with it. I come here every here whenever I can can to check on the persimmon. I hope it doesn't fall before her surgery. Forgive me. I didn't mean to get you involved no. in this. No, I don't mind at all. My name's Shibuya, by the way. Yeah. I'm Kasuga. I swing by this area pretty often, too, so I'll keep an eye out on that persimmon. It's very kind of you. Well, I should be going. You better stay on that branch and tell her surgery, little fruit. Mm. You know, I think I just have to go to Seagull Cinema. Come back here. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back and forth for these. What was this, the bug one? Bug delivery too. Yep. Okay, let's go back there. All right, I certainly hope. Oh. Office alone looks hilarious. Let's go see it right away. Sure, but if we're going to a vi the Vintage Film Theater, I might knock out mid-movie. It always happens there. Ah, I could have a taxi right here. So you guys in here, or am I wasting my time? Hello? Well. Well, look at the size of this little- th on this fella. Must be nice to be so tall. Actually, my son's probably about your height. Used to grab me everything from the top shelves he did. I bet you get real hungry really easy. What with all that extra meat on your bones. My son was always hungry, so I used to bake him cookies all the time. My secret ingredients? Salt and herb. Oh my god. Salt and Earl green tea. <laughs> no matter how much I made, he'd eat an entire batch. Almost had to keep him from eating the pan, too. But nowadays, 
The only one who comes flocking to smell my cookies are the crows, and who wants to speak for them? Oh, I'm sorry you had to listen to all that. Here, have some homemade cookies. They're soft on the outside and gooey in the center, just like, <laughs> just the way my son liked it. Oh, boy. Stop by again, won't you? Thanks. Hmm? I was gonna listen to you anyways, but... My God. I don't have a gold key yet. Good to know it's there, though. I don't think I've seen a gold safe yet. Welcome. Might be kind of nice to see something with a friend. <sighs> what? Where are they? You know what? Let's let's watch something with Adachi. <laughs> Adachi sound might like this one. I'll treat him today. He's a pal. Oh, coming soon. Oh boy. These are vintage films. What do you mean, coming soon? <laughs> uh, it's a comedy about an overworked employee and a cunning corporate spy. Hilarity and hygiene can see. Sure, let's let, let's do this. Don't you fall asleep? Ah, Christmas なのに僕だけノルマ満たすだから仕事だなんて。ん？なんだこの音？こんな時間に会社に人なんて。まさか産業スパイ。So this guy gets left behind and he's forced to battle a corporate spy. Wonder if that'll be enough to keep me awake. Shit, movies make me so sleepy. We're doing it. Oh my god. Are you gonna mix chickens in with this? I remember last time I hit the chicken and I, I didn't look at it. You're, you're just supposed to ignore it. Or they'll be pissed off. I thought you had to hit them and then they'd heal you, but they'd be pissed off after or something. Finally had a rapid. I think I'm doing pretty good. I almost nodded off there. Halfway? No chickens. Or the gold. The gold rams. Ram rams. <laughs> I fall asleep for once. I'm just waiting for something to happen. Oh, He's fighting the dude with stuff from around the office. Almost feels like a cartoon. I'm sleepy all of a sudden. You're falling asleep during a fight. There's so much space between them. Almost makes it harder. Okay. If you just give me a constant flow to go here. Bet the last movie's just all rapids. Rush mode. Oh, man. That was awesome. Well, we did it. 
Oh, almost 15k. Made it to the end. Hell yeah. <laughs> Takes so long to come back in. All that work for nothing. Well, I guess that's just how it goes sometimes. Adachi didn't didn't look like he liked it. Movies are rad. Oh my god, there is an S rank. Well, we got it. Great. Not bad, I guess. That was pretty fun. I can totally. get used to this. Glad you enjoyed it. But you know, there are a bunch more to see. Let's check out another one sometime. Thanks for thinking of me. Yeah, nice change of pace. Hope we can catch another one soon. Glad we had a good time. We should do this again. I, I got five points for him. Okay, the only reason I did this is because I thought... I thought their quest would update, but... I guess it's on block, maybe until story? This one's back, though. Shall I just take you? Alright, take me. Survive bar on the double. Oh. Man, I like PC. Those, these loading screens. Oh my god. Hey, I'm pretty sure that girl Kanako has special persimmon trees over here somewhere. I wonder if the fruit's still... Huh? You gotta be kidding. Don't you practice on that tree. Yo! What the hell are you doing? Mm. What's it look like? I'm practicing on this tree, boss. Why here? Can't you, like, do that shit at the sumo stable or something? I'd be more than happy to, boss. But I'm afraid that's no longer an option. Yeah. Why is that? Our sumo stable's pretty small with only my master, my mentor, and myself. I usually practice with my mentor. But one day, he went out for drinks with another wrestler and, well, had a large bottle of sake broken over his head. Oh. Okay. Bottle of sake? Culprit claims he was too drunk to remember anything, but because of him, my mentor's in the hospital. Three months for a full recovery, they say. I lost my practice partner. My brother. My family, boss. I'm gonna avenge him at the Spring Sumo Tournament. That's why I'm training for the big battle with this here tree. You're acting like the guy's dead. And look, nothing personal, but could you at least practice on another tree? Seriously, any tree other than this one. Sorry, boss, but of all the trees in Yokohama, this one is the biggest and feels the most like my boy. Yes, sir. I get the feeling this tree's gonna make me a whole lot stronger. This partner must be some kind of monster. That being said, I'll show no mercy to anyone who stands between me and my practice. Yo, I'll I ain't bring telling it. you to stop practicing. I'm just worried about the persimmon on this tree. And I'm worried about wasting time and losing my rank. But if you insist on stopping me, then I'm just gonna have to practice on you, boss. Okay. The game really wanted to freeze there. Yeah. Take your best shot. This son of a bitch. Pack up. Right. Don't you get a new move? Try this on the You could give up an item. Oh. Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that is getting some cash here. Power ring. Ooh. Uh, well fought. Man, speak for yourself. 
Oh shit, the persimmon. Phew, looks like it's okay. The way you fight says it all, boss. You got something you want to protect. You'll protect this persimmon tree no matter what the cost. Just like I'll protect my partner. Guess you and me aren't so different after all, huh, boss? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. This tree here is yours, boss. Sure, sounds good. Thanks. As for me, I'm gonna go find another worthy tree. Farewell, boss. Bye. Wouldn't it be quicker if he just found a different practice partner? Well, I'm glad the persimmons. Just glad the persimmons safe. I should check back from time to time. Oh. She live right there? Is that the angle? Well, it doesn't even look like I'm going to be able to finish these two quests. Not without going back and forth, and we're at two hours. But, yeah, I, I don't know when they're updating, but still, we got quite a bit accomplished. Uh, yep, I, I haven't found number 9 or 11 yet. Or 14 and 15, 17 and 18. All right, 17. We're, we're almost on track. I don't know where these other quests come from, but maybe I don't meet the requisite, prerequisite. So, I don't know. <sighs> got a lot done, though. We got to see some uh, drink length stories, good bond events, and yeah. So, we'll finally get to story in the next episode. But, thanks if you watch this whole thing. You're a trooper. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next one.